Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make the first communion flower crown. We will also attach a veil and then finish it off with a pretty ribbon. So let's get started. Here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. We'll start out with two floral wires. Then about three inches on each end, I'm going to cross the wire and then bend it and twist it onto itself. Repeat for the other side. I am doing this to basically lengthen and interlock the wire. Next, I'm going to place it on Alicia's head to get a custom size fit. Once I get a comfortable fit, I'm going to keep the wires crossed. Then I'm going to interlock it by twisting a wire on one side and then repeating the process on the other side. The next step, I'm going to tear about six inches of floral tape. Then I'm going to start wrapping it about three times at the starting point and then start moving it along the wire crown. Repeat this process until the whole wire crown is covered in floral tape. Don't forget to stretch out the floral tape a little so that it can become a little more stickier. And you are now complete with the base of the crown. We are now going to prepare the flowers. I had originally purchased the flowers like this, so now I'm just going to separate them. When I am done separating them, I should have 12 flowers. Next, I'm going to unwind the rhinestone sprays, and I should have three sets. I will do the same for the pearl sprays, and I should also have three sets. You'll notice I have some extras, but that's okay. Next, I'm going to need about 12 small floral stems, and I'm just going to cut a few extras just to use as fillers. And lastly, I will need six leaves. So here's the count I will need for each item. And we are now ready to create the flower sets. For my first set, I'm going to take two flowers, one rhinestone spray, two small floral stems, and one leaf. And that will complete the rhinestone set. And now I'm just going to gather them. For the small flower stem, I'm just going to tear off one flower to make the stem longer. I'm going to repeat this for the other stem as well. And for the last flower, I'm just going to lay it down where it's a little bit lower than the rest. And now I'm ready to wrap it together with floral tape. You are going to create two more sets with the rhinestone. So you are going to have a total of three rhinestone sets. And now you're going to repeat this process with the pearl spray. Gather, wrap with floral tape, and you are complete with a pearl set. And you will create a total of three. Once complete, you should have a total of six flower sets for the crown. And I'm going to lay it out, alternating between the rhinestone and the pearl. We are now ready to add the flowers to the crown. I'm just going to take the first flower set and then just twist it around the base of the crown. Now I'm going to take the second set and lay it below the first one and just twist. Repeat the process until all the flower sets are placed on. Now you're just going to add floral tape in between the flower sets. Once you're complete with the floral tape, you can further secure the flowers with a glue gun. Here I'm just going to glue on some floral stems to use as fillers. Now I'm going to go around the floral crown and readjust all the pearls and rhinestones. And we are now complete with the floral crown. For the veil, I'm going to start out by measuring how long I would like the veil to be. And I like mine at 24 inches. Because I want a two-tiered veil, I'm going to make my second layer 5 inches shorter, which is 19 inches. So I'm going to have one at 24 inches and one at 19 inches. So to get the total tool length I will need, I just add 24 plus 19, and that will give me 43 inches in tool length. I will now cut it at 43 inches in length. I'm going to fold the tool in half, noting the folded in and the open end. I'm going to cut the curve along the open end. Here's a small scale of how I'm going to completely unfold it. And then I'm going to take the top of the veil and then fold it over 19 inches. About half an inch from the edge, I'm going to start a secure stitch and then start gathering the tool. To gather the tool, I'm just going to stitch in and out through the fabric. 
until it is the width of the space on the flower crown. And then finish that with a secure stitch. Now with the leftover tool, just cut a strip of fabric about 1 inch in width and 18 inches in length. Lay the hair comb on the crown. Lay the tool halfway on the comb. And then start wrapping the hair comb with the tool about 3 to 4 times in between each teeth. This is basically my tutorial on how to prepare a hair comb. And I will link that in the description box below. Once you get to the end of your tool, from the back side just place a pin and then secure stitch the tool. Trim and you are complete with the hair comb. Now we are ready to glue on the veil. For the finishing touch, I'm going to cut 44 inches of ribbon and then tie a bow at the center of it. And then glue it on onto the floral crown. I'm going to trim the end of the ribbon and we are finally complete with the floral crown veil. Thank you Alicia and God bless you and all those receiving your first communion during the season. I'm also super excited because I finally got Alicia to give me a big smile after acting silly. Love your big girl smile, Alicia. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to learn how to make the First Communion Mantilla Veil, please click on the top video. If you would like to learn how to make the First Communion Headband, please click on the bottom video.